Well, they'll start out with a sweet potato vichyssoise, garnished with uh, micro chives that I actually helped to plant. Uh, and then they have a Chilean sea bass with uh, forbidden black rice, globe carrots, and uh, asparagus. And then we have a vegetarian option, of course, because we know we're going to have some vegetarians with the Hollywood crowd. So we have a roasted honey nut squash with a uh, piquillo pepper hummus, and it's stuffed with uh, rainbow Swiss chard, uh, golden raisins, and crispy chickpeas. Is it It's packed. Uh, on the day of the Golden Globes, we'll serve about 10,000 meals between the, the actual show itself, and then we have all the after parties, and then we have staff to feed. So it's a huge endeavor to take on. Uh, and so it'll take, we have 11 different chefs come in. Uh, we have our culinary team, which is over 100 cooks. And then we have stewarding staff, over 150. Well, we have a pistachio ivory that we're doing, and it's got a flourless chocolate base on the bottom. Then we have a chocolate disc that we created, and on top of the disc is a cream cheese mousse with a pistachio center, and then another chocolate center, a chocolate curve that goes on top, and then we have a pistachio cream and a cherry jelly. The texture is it's actually very smooth. The, the flourless chocolate is very light, and the cream cheese and uh, the pistachio center is a mousse, so it's also light as well, but it gets covered with a chocolate glaze. So I've got a lot of different chocolates going on. I've got cho dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate, and even I've created a nest looking effect where I pipe strawberry chocolate into ice water and it curdles up and we just sprinkle that around. The fun drinks, there'll be a lot of moets served at the Golden Globes. There'll be 1,500 bottles, mini bottles on the red carpet and then there'll be 125 cases of Grand Reserve 2008 and Rosé Imperial at the dinner and then 500 cocktails are being served as well. Well, the main cocktail that Moet has made is called the Moet Bell, and then I made that with them, and it was kind of a nod to my Brazilian heritage and doing a little fun twist on a caipirinha. So there's cachaça, mango juice, lime juice, a little ginger syrup, and then topped it off with champagne. Ooh, so yes. describe the taste. What is what is something like that taste like? Well, it's almost it's kind of tart because the lime in a caipirinha is generally very sour a bit because of the lime, but there's a little sugar in a caipirinha, so in this one there's no sugar, but there's a ginger syrup which adds a little bit of a sweetness and same with the uh, the mango juice. A little bit of little sweet but not too sweet and a little tart on the champagne. Mm -hmm. The Globes has done something a little bit differently, um, and they've uh, chosen to go with all tulips. And so streamlining it, really making it clean and modern, fresh, and, and just new for the Globes.